Hello, today's cash flow hack, the five key ingredients that make your FICO credit scores what they are. These are absolutely imperative to understand if you want to get and benefit from debt weapons. Stay tuned. Matthew Pillmore here, your cash flow expert. Many people don't know this, but there are five main ingredients to your credit score. Paying your bills on time is just not good enough. However, the first thing any lender is going to want to see is whether or not you've paid your past accounts on time. This is valued at 35%. Now, what a lot of people haven't been taught in school is that there are still four other elements that make your credit scores what they are. Next, most important, is valued at 30% of your scores, and that's how much you owe compared to what's available to you. Having credit accounts that currently have balances does not necessarily mean that you are a high risk borrower as long as you keep those balances low relative to the limits provided. The lower the balance, the better your scores and profile. Next is the length of credit history, which is worth 15% of your credit scores. In general, having more credit history will be a positive influence to your scores. However, even people who haven't been using credit for very long can have exceptionally high credit scores. It really just depends on how the rest of the overall credit profile looks. Your credit scores will take into account how long your credit accounts have actually been open, including the age of the oldest account as well as the age of the newest accounts and then it will average accounts and take that into consideration as well how long specific credit accounts have been open and how long since you attained certain accounts are all taken into consideration within the length of credit history as well fourth is the credit mixture that's being used your credit scores are going to be considering the total mixture of all accounts including retail accounts which are different than credit cards those are the merchant accounts like Kohl's or Target then your general credit cards your more big box credit card accounts it'll take into account installment loans such as automobiles or mortgages it will also take into account home equity lines of credit and in some cases personal and student loans finally new credit 10% of your credit score is also based on whether or not you've opened too many accounts in a short period of time this will represent to the formula a potentially higher level of risk because for those who don't have extended periods of history behind credit, it can be a sign of desperation to the formula. Make sure you stay tuned for our other credit related trainings because we will dive deeper into exactly what these elements can do for you and how to avoid the pitfalls that many people stumble into, which can cause huge negative impacts to credit scores. Subscribe to our channel if you like this information. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you visit freecoachingcalendar.com to schedule your free coaching session where we can show you how to engage all of these techniques into your own plan. We look forward to being your guide to cash flow optimization.